Welcome everyone to another video on this channel. This time the topic is how to set a distance in Google Maps. Now this might mean different things to a lot of people, but I'm going to cover the most important things. So make sure you are subscribed and let's get into it. So you can open up the Google Maps like this and let's say you're browsing the map as usual, whatever, right? And when you get inside on like any location, in case you want to see the distance, right? And you know, like see two points on a map and how far away they are, you know, perhaps you just want to know for whatever reason. It is pretty simple to do. Essentially, you can hold down anywhere on the map to make the pin drop. And it's going to pop up with like a, you know, pop over window when you can get the directions and stuff. But there is one button for measuring distance. So when you click on this, there is going to be the original point on the map as well as the new one. So now you can zoom out and you can move and set to this like new point in here. And you can see that the distance between these two points is this exact amount of like, you know, whatever you are measuring unit is. So pretty much this could be used um, pretty well. You might as well just add a new point, right? So perhaps you want to just go and just check out the entire like area of, you know, what is the distance of all of these lines combined up to you. But this is the possibility there. However, another option, as I quickly mentioned, is to set directions and you can choose the starting point from your location, you know, you can type in the address manually or whatever you prefer. But when you go, go and do this, you can see the distance between these two places when you want to drive. So it is going to be seven kilometers or if you want to walk, it's likely going to be similar. It's actually just the six kilometers. So it's pretty simple. You can even see, you know, uh, all of these steps and everything. So it is very useful. And this is how you can see the distance. And also even every single step is marked. So you can see that, you know, you're going to continue to this street, then 20, 240 meters, then another right turn. And, you know, it's pretty useful in that sense. However, for more precise measuring of the distance on the maps using Google, I would recommend you to instead get the Google Earth which is a little bit more advanced, let's be real. So when you go to exploring the earth, uh, you want to make sure that it just loads up properly. Perhaps you might want to just like reopen it. Right. So in here, it is pretty simple, right? Because you can uh, just check out the whatever place you like right here again. So you can just tap on something. And at the bottom, you have the measuring stick, right? So you can ch choose and start a point in here as well. So a similar principle, but you can see the exact specific length and you can even just create a shapes in here and calculate like, you know, the area in between. So more stuff which you can play with inside of the Google Earth. So it depends on what you want to do. But for more precise measurements, this is definitely a better option. So that's it. That's everything I wanted to let you know about. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe for more content in the future. And I'm just, just going to see you there.